That's about it. Just don't be a jerk. Be my friend. I'm the same person, just different appearance, different pronouns. That's it. So yeah, this is me. Hopefully you can be accepting of that. And uh, I'll see you around. So yeah, it's been four years. The tree's on this side of the house now. So hey everybody, it has uh, been a minute. I mean, you know, if you're on most social medias, you've probably seen me around, but uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, hi, long time no say. So yeah, I, uh, I haven't done an update in a couple of years. Um, the last YouTube video I put up was my two year anniversary of coming out and then uh, I vanished. But, I mean, to be fair, that was December of 2019, and then 2020 happened. So, I mean, cut a girl a break. But yeah, a lot has changed in the past couple of years. You know, some friends became enemies, some enemies became friends. Maybe people were richer for the experience? I don't know. But in any case, I'm still here. I'm still going. I still have this nice red sweater that I stole from my wife. You know, things are moving. But to be perfectly honest, you know, I think that it's fair to say all of us have been through a lot in the past two years. Um, one thing that I keep saying is that if you didn't come out of lockdown, either some flavor of queer, a witch, and or socialist, what the fuck were you doing with your time? And I mean, all joking aside, um, a lot of people have come out in the past couple of years. And I find it fascinating um, because it very much mirrors what happened to me. I've spoken before about my coming out journey and that period, you know, 10 years before I came out, where I did a little gender exploration and really the impetus for that was that I was alone for a couple of months. So along those same lines, during lockdown, a lot of people, well, they had time to reflect on themselves for the first time. And yeah, a lot of people have come out. I don't know if you can hear that seagull or not. Uh, it is, um, the middle of December and I have the windows open because it's like 50 something degrees so you know the sweater is really just for aesthetics and so one of the things that I've seen over the past year year and a half is a lot of backlash which you know when a fair number of people come out um, there's going to be somewhat of a negative response from certain circles And some of that was uh, political motivation. Some of it was motivation which is beyond me. And it has happened in private. It has happened in public. Um, very notably, it has also happened on Twitter with certain YA authors. But the one thing that I have found heartening in the past couple of years is that overall, it seems that more people are starting to get it. That doesn't necessarily mean that 
people get it fully. But this experience is not as foreign of a concept to as many people as it once was. After I published my initial coming out video, a large part of the series of videos that I did for a good two years afterwards was me trying to document my life, to put myself out there for people to get something of a good look at what a trans person is like. Some of the early videos obviously were just straight up educational. But after a certain point, I just thought that maybe people would learn through osmosis. I don't know if they did, but I hope. At least I got through to some people. The one thing that I have found frustrating though is that with a lot of people who are allies, um, on a surface level, they're very supportive. Um, but one thing that I have start to realize is that a lot of people just don't put in the work. I've been asked before why I am constantly talking about being trans. It is an aspect of my life, but it's not the most important aspect of my life. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'm more worried about what we're going to have for dinner. As it turns out, uh, tonight we're just doing leftovers because huh, I'm doing a video and I wasn't focused on anything else. But a good part of the content that I put out on the internet for my friends and family and strangers to consume is just to communicate what my experience is. Whether that's for good or ill, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm probably preaching to the choir, but I feel like the more that I talk, the more that other trans people stand up and just live their lives openly, the more people start to understand. Getting those allies from being supportive to actively helpful is a challenge. I don't always know what the right thing is that is going to break through to people to get them to understand that it's not just a matter of rah rah, go trans people. You need to be more active. You need to not consume the content of certain transphobic people. You need to go out of your way to vote for candidates who are supporting the trans community. Hell, just doing something as simple as putting your pronouns in your bio at work, online, does something. One sentiment that I've come across over the past two years is that in any fight for equality, we don't need allies. We need accomplices. We need people that are willing to make a sacrifice, that are willing to be vocal. Because cheerleaders are great, but when states pass bigoted legislation, a cheering squad doesn't help. I was talking to um, a family member the other day and I said to them that we're so far beyond hey you need to use the correct name and pronouns for trans people that's the bare minimum It's important for everybody to understand that an injustice against one group is an injustice against 
everyone. And being privately critical, but not publicly active. Let's hateful, bigoted people feel like they can just keep doing what they're doing. And they need to know that they can. So where I am four years into my transition is not at a place of exploring what it means to be trans or necessarily celebrating every small accomplishment. I mean, I do, obviously. And while I'll never stop trying to educate, I think at this point, at least where I am, is to be a little more loud with my presence. And I truly hope that more people will join in that fight. Because we need you. And slow incremental change well it's change is much easier to roll back. But in the meanwhile to those of you who are out there doing your best I see you. And I thank you. It's a frustrating process. But one day we will get to where we need to be. Slow as it may be, change is happening. And as I have become so fond of saying recently, the bigots have already lost. They just don't know it yet. So, I'm still here. I'm not going to make any promises, but maybe I'll try to pop up on here a little more frequently. But until next time, see you around.